You've probably heard that zinc is important for having a strong immune system. Did you also know that over 200 protein enzymatic processes in your body require zinc? If you're interested in learning more about how zinc can improve your immune system and a whole bunch of other things, keep watching. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark LeMay. Welcome to another episode of The Wellness Connection. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thanks so much for being a part of our community. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to click on that button right now. So there's a lot of concern these days about the immune system, and for good reason. Without a strong immune system, you're more vulnerable to getting sick, like a bacterial or viral infection. As I mentioned at the beginning, zinc plays a key role in immune health but there's so much more. Here's a list of some of the good things zinc does in your body. First of all, zinc is important in the production of a hormone-like substances called prostaglandins. These are vital to numerous body functions, including the function of the immune system, the expression and control of inflammation, that's important, skin and wound healing, functions of the heart and cardiovascular system, absorption of various minerals, body temperature control. It also protects the liver from chemical damage. It is vital for fertility, conception, delivery, and development of the infant. Zinc is also essential for general growth, so it's important for children to have adequate zinc. A zinc deficiency in children could lead to growth retardation, mental retardation, impaired nerve conduction and nerve damage, and skin problems. Some research studies say it may help prevent acne and eczema. With adults, when you are zinc deficient, your ability to balance your hormones, including testosterone, is diminished, thus preventing you from making optimal progresses in your health and fitness efforts. It's been shown to be a factor in hair loss, loss of appetite, taste, smell, and sex drive, and this is just the short list. You can see how a deficiency of zinc can affect so many different functions. So how does someone become deficient? A few things that cause a zinc deficiency is taking birth control pills and injections, having chronic stress or infections, and taking in excessive amounts of copper. One of the most common ways to become zinc deficient is by eating sugar, flour products, GMO foods, and foods from soil that is depleted of nutrients, which is just about everything that goes into your mouth. Because sadly, even organic produce can be grown in soil that has very little nutrients for plants to take in. For more on that, watch my video, Do You Really Need to Take Vitamins to Supplement Your Diet? video. In that video, I also talk about synthetic vitamins and how according to Dr. Randolph Howe, and I'm gonna quote him here, Synthetic vitamins lead to an increased risk of all forms of cancer, end quote. So don't rush out and buy any old zinc supplement. Watch that video first. So back to zinc. Now you know how incredibly important zinc is for your health and how you can become deficient. Now let's talk about how to find out if you are low in zinc. Thankfully, you do not have to get expensive blood tests. In 1984, a zinc taste test was developed because plasma and serum level zinc level tests were considered unreliable measures of zinc status. In 1988, the first peer-reviewed recommendation that the zinc taste test be used as an assessment method for zinc deficiency was in the British Medical Association's British National Formulary. The researchers found a percentage of patients with zinc deficiency were also deficient in vitamin B6 and magnesium as well. We now know that zinc, B6, and magnesium are synergistic. So what is this zinc taste test and where do you get it? Fortunately, one of our favorite vitamin supplement companies, Standard Process, produces an inexpensive zinc sulfate solution that we've been using at our office for over five years on all of our patients. If you're not a local patient, we can ship a bottle to you to test you and your family at home. If you watch all the way to the end of this video, we'll demonstrate someone taking the test. 
so you know how to do it. Let's say that you test low on zinc. What can you do about it? Depending on how deficient you are will determine how much zinc you will need to supplement in your diet. I'll include a link in the description box below of a reference table on foods that are high in zinc. Whether you are low or high in zinc, you want to make sure you are getting enough every day, either from food or a food-based supplement that is processed properly. For more about that, watch my Don't Waste Your Money on Ineffective Vitamins video. If you'd like some help navigating all of this, go to our website for details on how to become a patient. Or if you just want to get the zinc taste test solution, we can start there. I hope you found this helpful. I'm Dr. Mark LeMay. Thanks for watching. Oh, and be sure to watch all the way to the end to see that demonstration. Hi, I'm Michelle LeMay and I'm here with Laurel and we're going to demonstrate the zinc taste test for you. So we've got our handy dandy bottle of the zinc taste test and I've already measured 10 milliliters or two teaspoons for her. And Laurel, you are going to um, hold it in your mouth for 10 seconds and you're gonna swish it around. Now, Laurel's done this before, it's been a long time, but we have not practiced this in front of the camera or anything. So I don't know what her number is gonna be. You don't know what your number is gonna be, right? Right. Um, so this is, you're gonna catch this live, well, as close to live as possible. So, okay, Laurel, you're gonna hold, you can sort of swish it around in your mouth for 10 seconds and then you're gonna swallow. Okay, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, Sounds good. Ready? All right, whenever you're ready. 10, 9, 8, mm -mm. 7. Okay, so it's nasty, so she's gonna swallow. Quick. All right. Hopefully, not spit it out at, at me. So, okay, well. Very dry. Bad. Yes. So for the sake of demonstration, zero to 10, zero means, oh, it just tastes like water. 10 is kind of nasty. Hmm. What would you say it is? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever tasted. So don't be afraid. <laughs> yes. But, yes, you know, worry. maybe a six or something. I've tasted some gross things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And but we won't ask her what they are. It's okay. Um, but that was a pretty strong reaction while it was even in your mouth. So and it's still very dry. Yes. Kind of hanging out. Yes. So I would even say that's closer to a ten. Mm. Truly, just sure. from what we've you know read from literature and seen other people. So we're gonna get you some water here Sweet. in just a sec. <laughs> So you're gonna to have to read in the description box below what those numbers mean, because we're not gonna give it away for you now. So if you're interested in ordering the zinc taste test to find out if you're high or low, give our office a call. Thanks, Laurel, for helping us out. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, you're welcome. Yay. All right, hope that helps. Hi, I'm Michelle LeMay, and thank you for watching. We are about to do a zinc taste test with my friend, Dan. Thank you, Dan, for being here. You're welcome, Michelle. Being a very willing guinea pig to show everyone watching how to do the zinc taste test. So what we've got here is the solution from Standard Process. We've got 10 milliliters of the solution, which is about two teaspoons. And so I just want to tell everybody, first of all, You've never done this taste test before, correct? Correct. I have never done it. Okay, so you really have no idea what this is going to taste like. I have no idea what you're getting me into, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love a victim. I mean, I love a volunteer like that. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to hand you that. And what you're going to do, Dan, is you're going to hold it in your mouth, kind of swish it around lightly for 10 seconds. I will count you down. That's how you do it. And then you're going to swallow. Okay. And I'll give you a number scale after that. Okay? Are you Ready? ready? All right, swish away, four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and he swallowed, perfect. And you usually wanna give somebody about 10 seconds because sometimes the taste can grow on somebody. So here's the scale, so zero to 10, zero means Ah, it's just zero taste, just like water. 10 is, oh my gosh, Michelle, what did you really give me? I'm not gonna ask for another shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll but I'll, it's probably about a three or a four. 
A three or four. Okay, so there's a, something there, mm -hmm. but it's not completely it's not nasty. Nasty. No. nasty. Okay. But it doesn't taste like water. Okay. All right. So to find out what that number means, you're going to have to look in the description box below. So we're going to keep them hanging for a few more seconds. So check that out. Thank you, Dan, for um, helping us out with demonstrating the zinc taste test. You're welcome. All Thank right. you, Michelle. You're, yeah, thanks.